Miyari, Musaka Sakabo, Hola, Buenos Dia, Hi, and Good Day. Uh, this is just another recording of me playing Wakfu on Steam. Uh, my username on Steam is Phoenix Taino, if anybody would like to add me. And yeah, I'm just going to pick back up where I left off, which is running around um, the island of Ri. I believe it's an island. And, um, because your girl is nationless, and I'm still learning how to play this game. So, here we go. We start here. There's my character. She's still there. All right. So, I've completed a lot of tasks. Um, the last thing I need to do is talk to Oromai, Oromai, not sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. Actually, you know what, girl, just, just chill for a minute. Where? I'm here, so I actually need to go this way. Go over the bridge. Probably a ghost character. Okay, is this the guy? Is this the guy? Okay. We found him. Oromai seems especially cheerful at the sight of you. You're back, so how's it going? Exploring the Celestial Island? Are you up for the next part? Okay, so I was right, it is an island. Uh, so far, so good. We'll see if I'm ready to move on to the next world. Who are you, anyway? Ha ha ha. That's right, I haven't introduced myself. Sorry, I'm Otomai, Scientomayush, an alchemist. Don't be fooled by my appearance, I'm several centuries old, though I've spent the majority of my time studying various life forms. You don't say. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. Mm -hmm. Good, I can tell you about some of the basic concepts that govern this place if you like. Otherwise, I would encourage you to chat with others on the island, as they'll have important information to share and things for you to do. I do have some questions for you. All right, I'm going to scope out the island. Yeah, no, I got questions. I'm listening. Do you know who I am? Hmm, well, that's a peculiar question. You'd think it was the first time we'd met, but I feel like our paths have already crossed. Since you just incarnated, you must have died somewhat recently. To be honest, I don't remember you. You must have met Dega de decades ago, maybe even centuries ago, in one of your other lives. Hmm, yes, it's possible. Hang on. Hmm, what then? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be one of those adventurers who refused to take my advice about Mount Zinnit and were literally crushed by my son, Ogrest, would you? Holy Fekka Shield, that was over 150 years ago. 150 years? Uh... Sorry for what happened to you and your friends back then. Next time, perhaps you'll heed my warnings. I got everything I needed until next time. I'm going to ask for questions. <laughs> I'm listening. Can you tell me about Wakfu and Stasis? Wakfu and Stasis are primordial energies throughout the cosmos. The entirety of our actions has an effect on them. Wakfu is the energy generated by creation. It moves through all the lives in the cosmos. By definition, it's, association, it's associated with life. Stasis energy, on the other hand, is associated with stability and immobility. By extension, stasis is generated by death and destruction. Okay, I see what you mean. So basically, Wakfu is good and Stasis is evil, right? Well, that's a very black and white way to look at it. <laughs> evil? No. But it's a more, a bit more complicated than that. To simplify things, let's say that Wakfu and Stasis are complementary, two di diametrically opposed types of the same energy. If Wakfu and Stasis aren't balanced, the whole world, even the whole cosmos, would be irreparably destroyed. I like this. I like this a lot. Ask more questions. I got everything I needed. So this is a really cute way. Um, because like I said in a previous video, this Wapu is a cartoon. You can watch it on Netflix. And um, it's a very it's a very cute way to explain the cosmos and these energies that aren't necessarily good or bad. It just really depends on how, how they're focused, right? Um, to children. It's 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 really cute. I'm I'm really liking this. <laughs> So let's see, there's one other question I'd like you to share what you know about the world of 12. <laughs> Want me to tell you about the world of 12? There's plenty to say. 
It's the world I come from, and I suppose you do too. It's filled with thousands of people, a variety of biomes, and majestic landscapes spread across islands. You'll see that for yourself soon enough. If you want to know the history behind the situation, you can examine the murals. They're in the sanctuary in the western part of the island. Okay, that's where I had to go talk to that woman guy who was like grumbling the whole time. <laughs> Got everything I need. Till next time. All right, so now it looks like the quest that I have left, because the Celestial Island of Rhea, I've done everything here. So, um, everything that I'm required to do, because I was, um, my, my Taino friend slash sister, technically my cousin, she's really my cousin, but, um, that's neither here nor there. The point is, is that she recommended that I do a lot of harvesting and planting and stuff like that before I leave Rhea, because it's a good way to, like, you know, level up and stuff like that. So, uh, to face a boss, I have to enter the Celestial Sanctuary and be at least a level six. So let's see. I, I am indeed a level six. Um, principles of the ecosystem crafting, craft three regeneration vials using automized workshop. So I'm assuming that's what all this here is. There we go. Yeah. And then searching for the past, read the first fresco i wonder if that's one of those uh, things that are in the sanctuary that i was basically told to to do because we have quests here all quests and it says like tuto one two three four five i i read that out loud and i was like i don't even know what that is tutorials it's short for tutorials <laughs> um so uh yeah I did these three crafting, which I'm going to do now. And then we're already monitoring the maximum number of achievements. I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. Um, I'm sure I'll learn eventually. So we'll go here and we want three regeneration vials. So I'm assuming it's going to tell me what ingredients I need for a regeneration vial. And it does. Uh, one celestial flower and one loaded ring. I don't know how many I have. Please enter the desired number. So will it let me do three? It will. It will let me do three. That's cool. So I don't have to do like each one at a time. It's just gonna, I can just put however many I want. Nice. All right. I like that. And I still have a loaded ring left after all of that. So it says that I've completed that task. Searching for the past, read the first fresco. Will it give me more information with regard to that? No, it just says stop tracking. All right, and that's just letting me know what I need to do next. So is that show on the map? I know over here is how I get out of here. This is the training grounds. This is where I can change my class. This obviously is where I'm at now, where I can craft things. And this is where I need to go. So let's get out of, what is this? Oh, I can use this to mark where I want to go next. I like how this is, this looks like a little game board. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, and I can put characters down and stuff. So if I put like... Okay, that's, that's interesting. That is interesting. What is that? PVP, passages, dungeons, you know, that's characters, transportation, which is what that was over there to leave re. A phoenix. All right. Hunters, mercenaries, professions, point of interest, personal tokens. So I don't know what that's for. It's not, it doesn't have anything that pops up to tell me. All right, not the point. I'm just gonna go here, and then go here. I'm just gonna keep. So you don't have to you don't have to drag. You can just keep clicking as you go. Go in here. Enter the celestial sanctuary. And then they said that there were like things that I could read. I know I can talk to him in a minute, but I want to see what else is in here. 
see, that's what it is. Fresco, fresco, fresco. Let's do the one in the middle. All right. Ogress tears fell through the world, sea levels rose, and cities which were once the pride of the world of twelve are now lost beneath the waves forever. I wonder if this is going to kind of retell the story because when the cutscene came on, it was so loud that even though I was reading it out loud, you can't, you can't hear what I'm saying. Today, island clusters have emerged to form archipelagos, once more populated by the Disciples of the Twelve. It's a sacred scroll. All right. The gods, powerless against the flood, were not able to prevent the destruction of the world of Twelve. Surveying what was left of the world, they decided to give each of its inhabitants a gift. The god Enutra created the Haven Bag, a magical bag of limitless size. The inside of a Haven Bag is so big, many people have decided to set up home in them. The bag will facilitate trade and commerce and will allow you to regain lost prosperity, said the god Enutra. The god Ozamodas, helped by his three dragons, populated the world with creatures of fur, feather, and scales, animals to graze the grass, fly in the sky, and swim in the sea, said Os Osamodas, and the disciples of the Twelve will look after them. If this world is to prosper, it will not be to the detriment of my creatures. And then the god Sadida came forward. If we are to strive for prosperity, we will need abundance. I offer my trees, my flowers, and my seeds. And Sadida sang, but underneath his mask, he was frowning. He was thinking of his sons, the trees. In the past, the trees had suffered at the hands of overzealous lumberjacks. And these lumberjacks had cut the trees down faster than Sadida could make them grow. Then the balance with nature had been broken. The disciples of the Twelve had been given another chance. Were they going to take it? Interesting. I'm seeing the like correlation between um, some real world stories or mythologies, depending on your perspective. And, um, and the story of this world here. This one, same thing. Okay, so this may be before what I just read. Let's see. One day the world of 12 was shaken by an ogre. Yeah, this was, I was supposed to read from left to right apparently. So one day the world of 12 was shaken by an ogre. He got it into his head that he had to find the Dofus. And when an ogre makes his mind up about something, he doesn't change it, no matter what the consequences. He waited through dust, sweat, and suffering until he got his hands on those Dofus. His name was Ogrest. Soon he was feared by everyone. His reputation as a warrior preceded him everywhere he went. One fateful day, he succeeded in reuniting the six Dofus. Who would have thought that Ogress the Terrible would have accomplished such an awful feat in the name of love. All the time, his fists were beating to get to the Dofus. His heart was beating only for Dathura. Okay. Dathura, one of the ten dolls created by Sadida to seduce the elemental dragons at the dawn of time. Ogress brought her back to life, and the beautiful doll fell in love with him. Oh, it was mutual. Nobody knows what really happened. The legends say that when Dathura fell into the abyss, Ogris's heart was broken. I mean, whose wouldn't be? His tears of sorrow and rage, magnified by the immense power of the six Dofus, created a terrible flood which left the world of twelve underwater. And then everything I read before this happened. It's such a sad story. All right. Now, Wakfu is an energy that flows through the universes. It comes from the confines of, well, of somewhere. Here, there, we don't really know. The god and the demon see the Wakfu dancing in the universe. All nature vibrates thanks to Wakfu from the highest mountaintops to the bottom of the seas. Everything is Wakfu. Look at that. Got 
fish, we got plants. Nice. It's said that some people can even master it, that it has been done in the past. Master Wakfu? Truth or legend? Nobody knows anymore. Look at that. All right. So we did that. We did the read the fresco, read the second fresco. Oh, it wants me to read it in order. Okay. Well, I'm just going to scroll through this since I technically already read it. And then mark it as red. Okay. Yeah. Mark is red. Like the email that I get. Way too many. And I wouldn't mind if it wasn't people asking me the same questions over and over again that I've already answered in my video in Tiny Little Library. But that's neither here nor there. Um, all right, now we got to talk to Homeboy over here. Tiki Grumpy. His name is Grau Galora Grand. Grau Galora Grand. Glares at you coldly. You're back, Sadida. <laughs> Gilgamesh has been expecting you. I'm back and I've regained all my powers. I think it's time for me to take on the strongest monsters in the cosmos. I don't think I'm ready just yet. I'll come back later. No, we, we need to we get this going. Grogalore. Grogu senses you are unprepared. You'll need a lot more experience before you can be considered as a seasoned adventurer. Seems you're jealous of my inor inordinate power. I'll have to show you what I'm made of. You're right. I'll go train more and come back later. All right, we're going to be a little cocky. That's very presumptuous of you, Sadida. On guard. I'll be waiting. Placement phase. Okay, so can I move any closer to him? Apparently not. All right, that's fine. We'll see how quickly he kicks my ass. So first, we are going to hit him because he's right up on us. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna do these, and I've got three moves. It won't let me make any moves. So our moves something I have to do first. Like apparently I can't move away from him. Not good enough, mortal. Dang, I did like no damage to him. Summon's ultra powerful. All right, do I want it to be something that, I can't do that for myself, apparently, I don't know. I haven't used that before. That's a healing. I didn't do nothing to him. Is this one of those, like, you're fated to lose this battle even before you start type deals? Too slow, Incarnate. You've made. I made him angry. That was sheer luck. Bro, what do you mean? He he you wasn't putting no dents in his ass. Don't go thinking I was giving it my all. I let you in. That's enough, new incarnate. Your powers haven't reached their full potential. To be honest, you're a long way off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How so? You gonna endow me with something that I've been needing this whole time? can see that you're pure of heart. Nevertheless, you must leave this island and go explore the place they call the World of Twelve. The World of Twelve. Get going, new incarnate. The Gorgamagon must return home to oversee certain matters. I'm just going to change his name every time because I cannot... What is it? Gragalora Grand... It... I'm gonna get it eventually. I'm gonna get this name eventually, but it's my tongue does not want to cooperate for some reason. I get tongue twisted every time I try to say it. Grow Galora Grand. Grow Galora Grand. Grow Galora Grand. I don't think I could say that ten times fast. I would definitely get tongue twisted. Just trying to say it once got me fucked up. Jesus. All right. 
So, we've got new spells and characteristics, right? So I can go here. Health points, elemental resistance. But it, does it tell me what each thing really does? Hold on a second. Let me... Let me... Let me... Mute this real quick. Hold on, y'all. A few moments later. All right, I'm back. Let's get back to Wafu here. So it looks like this is strength. Next activation at, at level 11. Next activation at 10, at 8, at 9. Oop. Major. So I could probably get to level 11 just by running around here planting seeds and harvesting and shit like that. And then I can attribute whatever points I get at that point to, what is it, one, two, three, four. There's five little uh, sections, right? There's intelligence, strength, agility, fortune, and then major, I'm assuming is like a major level up, right? So... Oh, wait! Each thing has its own... Ah, shit. Elemental mastery, melee mastery, distance mastery, health points. Okay. Force of will, lock and dodge. See, it says, because I don't really know what these things are going to do, I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think I'm going to let these points accumulate for now. Maybe I'll, you know, Google some shit later. Level two and five. See, these rodents don't look as um, troublesome as before. Well, let's just harvest these guys. <laughs> it's just got me like picking at its butt. <laughs> okay, so be scared. Are these like emoticons? All right, rodent seed. So it looks like I can hit two. No, that's not what it does. So I gotta create, I gotta plant more rodents. Because I'm about to fight those. Okay. Trapper level game. Okay, cool. Very cool. And now I'm going to fight these guys. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Okay. So, start the fight. Okay, so diagonal movement isn't a thing here. That's interesting to note. Or well, that's worth noting. All right, so this does seven damage, seven damage. Ultra powerful. So this seems like the kind of thing I would need to go ahead and So with this spell, the Sadita summons the ultra powerful doll. The Sadita strategy centers around the ultra powerful because it is the doll that summons all other Sadita dolls. Okay, so I need to put this ultra powerful doll. What do you do for me, Fran? Let's go ahead and attack this guy while I can. All right, what do you do? Sadita's orders. This spell orders Sadita doll to attack the target. Only two orders can be given at the same time for enemies and one for allies. All right, so can I... go ahead and hit you and then we're gonna use can can the doll where is the doll okay, clearly I'm not using this right so we're just gonna this one doesn't do very much damage it's done. I don't have anything I can do anyway
to learn how to do this doll summoning thing because clearly I'm gonna move here I don't understand the doll thing I really don't but that's okay am I not close enough to it I am not okay can you work no can I do you no can I hit you no okay it's still my turn attack either. Okay. I don't know what that was supposed to do. Did it bring its defense down or something? We'll see. Can I attack you from where I'm at now? No. No. Are not in my line of sight, which means I gotta move closer to you, then hit you. There we go. What does this do? It won't let me do anything. Block is an enormous doll whole sole purpose is to obstruct enemies. Okay, so do I wanna I don't know. I'm gonna have to like practice battles with this guy. Hmm. Summons in play less than five. So he blocks and he gives a new Sidita's orders, gives a new Sidita's orders, and the conditions is three uses per turn. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, we're gonna go here. We gotta like cut the tree. Is it not? I don't know if I can. Are these trees not like grown enough? Or maybe the only thing I can do is harvest flowers right now. I don't want to mess with that person over there. They look like they got their own little garden thing going on. Um, so let me go over here. We are going to harvest first. Unable to complete the action, this resource belongs to someone else for a few minutes. Oh. There we go. That's good to know. And then, can I cut it? Uh-oh. Y'all did not hear anything. Harvest. And then we're gonna cut. I need to like upgrade my garden basically. Do the same thing. Oh, see, herbalist. Level game. You are now at level five herbalist. Good. Right, this is going to be my garden area where I plant my cute little flowers. balance, right? What is this? What's 
that shortcut to six? I don't know. Hmm. Why not take a nappy nap, girl? Now can I just wake up? Okay, I press the same button to wake up. Okay, that's that's good to know. Oh, that's right. This was blinking down here. This is a elemental spell. Poison Wind, Intoxicated Level 1, 2 turns. And this is Curse Level 1, it's Toxin. See, I need to know what, 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 these, what these do. A simple Earth spell which inflicts damage on the target and steals an MP or creates a Bramley Armor around an ally. Okay, now what does this do? An attack that inflicts considerable damage without a line of sight. And which can heal allies or deal damage to enemies. Ooh, Sadita's Tears. That looks like it will be very beneficial. Well, I should probably leave things in the order that are given to me. And then this doll thing, I don't I don't really understand that. It gives me a doll. And it gains seven hit points or health points per turn with a max of 70. Hmm. I wonder if I go to to um, Arena if she teaches me how to use some of these new abilities that I've just gained. Because that would be helpful. 565, five, 542. Yeah, I'll just fight you because it'll be quick and easy. messing with their booties. Harvest. 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 Now how many times can I harvest something? That's something worth noting. Because I wonder, it would have to regenerate, right? Oh, I can harvest as many times as I want. I guess until they're no longer... No. I guess I just keep harvesting until they're no longer um, fully blown. Look, Woden, I need you to move. No, I don't. See? I'm just harvest like this. Okay. And then we take these same seeds. Six. Seven. Right? scroll back that fast. Some more. Go right here, right? Ta da! Ta da! So now I need to cut some of these suckers down. So we don't want to do too much. We're out of balance. What the hell? 
Why is it telling me to fight? There we go. What is this? Trample? I don't know what that does. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Okay, so I just get rid of it. That isn't, that's not really nice. That's not very nice. So these just gives me the option to trample, but the grown ones, it lets me cut. Okay. But I have to wait for the task to be completed. Okay. You can literally go and trample someone's shit. <laughs> that would be so mean. All right. Let's go ahead and harvest. We got four woden seeds, celestial flowers. Let's collect. Let's harvest like four of them. Oh, oops, I forgot to let it finish. How many did I? There was like one, two, three, four. I had, there was at least like what? Five? So I should probably harvest these. Harvest these. Cut. And cut. Cool. Let's, I already harvested that guy. Good. So now I can fight him. It's not going to be like let me be here. Okay, I want to be here. And I want to be facing this way. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Hold on. You don't get closer, first of all. I've invited you to join the Guild Crows. Do you accept this invitation? I don't even know what that means. Like... <laughs> I know what a guild is and everything, but I I don't know you like that. Sorry, friend. Hopefully that invitation stays where it's at. Alright, I'm going to give up my turn. Close that selection flower. Getting tag team. This ain't even right. Of course you're going to run away, you fucker. person who sent me an invite? I don't even know. Can you go back to hmm oh 
What level am I? Seven. So I need to just keep. Let me pick a fight with you. Let's see if I can, like, figure this out. I should be able to figure this out. Why is it doing that? Like it takes me... Okay, we'll see. Now it's my turn. I do this. Okay. And then this will do what? doesn't wait no, go. can I attack you now yes Still my turn. What are you supposed to do? the most part. Oh, you're not in my line of sight. But I can't move closer to you, can I? No, but I think this guy can still keep the ass. this do? There we go. Nice. I like that. I like that. I think I hit the dolls now, but I need to learn how to, like, not end up in corners. That's like fighting 101 in any game and in real life. Like, don't let yourself get cornered. That's just dumb. All right, let's see. Level 7, level 7, 3, level 5, two fours. I wonder if I can go where there's rodents that are stronger. Like, where are the stronger ones at? 552. Five, so, so far, I've only seen 
the seven. Seven is the highest I've seen. You are a four, a three, and a five. Yeah, that's not going to do me any good. That doesn't really help. Usually in games, there's like areas you can go to where it's like, oh, once I'm in this area, I know for a fact it's going to get, I'm going to be dealing with some stronger guys. How many wounded seeds do I have? I have plenty. So we're just going to attack that guy. And this won't get us close to him. No, that's a corner. See, we're already starting off without following our own our own advice. All right. So first, we are going to summon a friend. We are going to summon a friend because that was cool. Now we're gonna go here. And we're gonna hit you with that. three moves so I can probably move over here. Turn against that guy and next. But it's still my turn. He can summon another doll over there. And you hit him. Hit him a second time. Now what does that actually do? I like this doll summoning thing, okay? <laughs> like, I could get used to this. Because I'm just going to tear you up. And then, can I get closer to you and just punch you? Yes, I can. Oh no, but I'm not close enough to punch. I don't have enough. You know, whatever the bucks. I don't even know what I'm doing, but it's clearly not hurting anybody, so. Now you're just wasting energy, friend. I'm gonna stay away from y'all. I'm pretty good. I can't get any closer to ya. Shit. I just did that move. That was dumb. Doesn't require line of sight. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like that. I forgot about that move. Oh, and look, he healed. He healed a little bit. Because he was in the... Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. We want to do damage here. And then hit his ass. Hold on. I need to do... what I would be able to take away from him, to be honest. I can't punch him from here, but I can hit him with this. I don't know what that is. Okay. That's cool. Is that like extra HP or something? Listen, we is getting good, or so I think. I don't. I might be wrong, but it feels like I'm getting better.
on the line. There's so many rodents. I should probably. All right, level eight trapper. I don't know why I'm spreading them out so much. I just... Feels like the right thing to do. Let's see, I have this. Do need to get more trapper points. I noticed I've um, got up. I've been doing a lot more, um, getting a lot more points with the harvesting because I think you can do more things. Like you can harvest and cut versus the rodents that you can only you can really only harvest or fight. So let me just let me just run to. All right. Now one of these had like three different rodents you can fight. That one's got a little level seven, so we're gonna go after him. And we want to be close, but not cornered. We we'll start here. We're gonna summon a friend. My turn, me turn, we're going to summon another friend, and then we're going to hit this guy that's closest to me. I don't know what he does, but I'm just going to Summons, alright. Rude. I mean, you don't attack the dolls all day long. It's not gonna it's not gonna hurt my feelings in any way, shape, or form. The same guy. And look at that, he gone. And I can move three spaces this way to get closer to my friends. Seems like the smart thing to do, I guess. Give up my turn. It's his turn now. He's too far away, so I gotta keep doing this. So it says three seconds carried over to the next turn, it seems like. So it just gives him less time? I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure what this preaching does with this doll, to be honest. Nice. So I got maybe like two more battles? Maybe two more battles and I'll be done here. Oh yeah, we're picking a battle with you. Mama Rodent. Okay. 
You are actually, no, see, that's gonna put me in a corner. I think I'm good right where I'm at, actually. Cause I can need to go from three on three. No, but I do need to be directly in front of him to punch him. I need to have summon a friend first. Phone a friend. We're gonna, we're gonna phone a friend. Whoop. And now I give up my turn. This guy. And also summon a friend. And we're gonna do this. What does that do? No, give me time, give me time. I want to see what it does. Like down here on the bottom left, my image is covering it, but it tells you what each move is actually doing, like what you're actually accomplishing. So I trying to figure out like, if I hit it with the curse. Cool, cool, cool. And then I gotta give up my turn. This guy is going to. Gonna, uh, like him. And then he. Oh my lord, it has left the battle now. If I hit you with that, level one. It just says Woden orders. He just hopping everywhere. <laughs> is it to tell? I don't understand. I need to get closer, but I want to stay close to him because he does cool shit. Because if I do this, I don't see what difference it makes. I'm not sure what's happening, <laughs> to be honest. Ay, ay, ay. I'm just gonna punch him. And then wind, knock the wind out of his ass. And then I can. I can't really do nothing else. This guy. Oh, I can move him. I didn't realize it. Stay pretty much in place. Look at that. It's so cool. Alright. Some of this stuff is like, wow, you're dumb for not having fit. You know what? You know what? I'm learning. So bite me. Alright. I just looked at that, right? Or is there like a lone level 7 guy out here somewhere? Because that would be nice. Oh, look at that. I'll just pick a battle with you. No, come back! You guys, I definitely want to pick a battle. Because that's two summons. I will definitely level up to 10 after this one. I, well... I really can't be 100% sure about that. Actually, let's stay where I'm at. Let's stay right here. Because once I summon my friends, it'll be fine. Well, I'm not close enough. Will it let me, or will this be like a blockage? Nope, it let me. Cool. This. Oh, he has more range. Okay. Let me put you right here. Go ahead. I mean, hit her. Hit her. Hit her. 
dumb. And yeah, don't do it like harms me in absolutely no way. So I quite literally do not care. I, mean, I care about my dog. That was done. I guess we'll take a step back. That's fine because even after his turn, it's this guy. He gonna fuck you up. Sorry, for those like the camera is shaking, it's because I'm bouncing my leg and it's making the, the, um, making what I have, the desk I have the computer on, move. Listen. First, I'm gonna punch you, because you need to go. I can't do anything. One of you. Yeah. Oh, but you're not in range either. Oh, no. I'm going to have to skip my turn. Nope, that's not going to work. You need to get closer to him first. Now you can hit him. Why is it doing that one? Ultra powerful cast Adidas orders. Okay, so it tells you where to move. Is what it seems like it does. Push back one cell. Push back another cell. Sure, sure, sure. You are... I can't get any closer to you. Which is fine. You know what? It's fine. We're going to stay away. We're going to protect me. You are gonna get right on top of his ass and electrocute him. And you. Is that Huey, maybe? I don't know. Is this the one? I don't know what that did. I really don't think it did anything. Oh, and. Sneak attack. Look at that. Passives. Your character's passives are found in the spell menu. As with spells, you must equip them in your deck. Drag and drop or double click for them to take effect. Passives change your character's capabilities and customize your playstyle. Each class has a base passive, providing unique features, including its method of WP regeneration as well as original mechanics and interactions. It also specifies what base spells are automatically included in the third combat bar. Nice. So I made it to level 10, y'all. And um, I got some cool new abilities. I got three points to distribute. I need to look up what this will do. Action points, movement points and damage. Oh, oh, but I can't distribute anything from here because I don't have, so two here, I have two here, I have two here, and I have three here. Gotcha. All right. So it's not points to distribute among every section. Each section has its own amount of points that you can distribute. That's, that's cool. 
I need to look up what all these things really mean though because this will be here on the on the to the right of the screen of this little pop-up menu whatever doesn't really do very much explain so there's that close this actually you know what no open it back up because you're not gonna remember what this shit means um, not what the, not what it means but the names of this thing of these things so I'm just going to I'm just gonna record a little video real quick so I can look this stuff up later not while I'm recording the gameplay all right And then we got this, which roots at start of turn, every two turns, regenerate one walk food point. All right, and I can put something here and put something here in the passes. Ooh, dodge. And this is knowledge of dolls, two control, gain increase, 40% damage inflicted. I think I want to include this in my passive. That seems like the smart thing to do. And then this is Poisoned Wind, level two, two turns, two turn cooldown, right click to open the detailed window. Oh, good idea. Uh, the Sajida summons a powerful Poisoned Wind that affects all targets in an area around the target cell. Okay, and then this one does a healing mud bath. What is Sajida's Tears? Sajida's Tears heals 10. Let's move that up here. That heals seven. It does eight damage. And this doesn't do any damage. Hmm. I feel like the poison would probably be better. Right? That's a two turn cooldown, and this has. That takes three action points. I'm gonna move this window. Why you don't move? And you take two action points. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put you here for now. I think we're gonna do that. Spells and passive. Use a, you've unlocked a new passive slot. Go to your spell interface. You can go there directly by pressing S. All right, so. My next thing, take the zap to Astrub, speak to Pappy Pal. This is Astrub 2, right? I'm pretty sure this was something else that required. All right, so the, the next world I need to go to is Astrub, it seems. So that is a matter of going this way. Use the map. Alright, Astrub. Transportation. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see. Okay. Temple of Scriptures. Zap. I'm confused. Favorite. Miscellaneous. So do I need to go here first and then to Astrub? It says take the zap to Astrob, speak to Pappy Pal, which is also an Astrob, reach level 20, which that's just going to happen regardless. Yes, but he's in the bathroom. Hold on just a second. Yes, you can. Hold on. Hold on. I'm in the middle of the line. A few moments later. And I was talking with my mic off. I don't know why I turned the sound off. All I needed to turn off was the mic, but whatever, y'all. Whatever. So I think, yeah, Pappy Pal, speak to Pappy Pal. It doesn't say where. Wait. Linked to the character. 
This one for showing off your best products. Put it in the table room in your Haven bag. Okay, so I'm going to do the zap. I'm going to do the zap because it feels like I need to do that first and then go to, I don't know, cross-examination level 10. People wearing unsettling masks are running around Astra. Make a few of them eat dirt to find out what they're up to. Kill 10 members of the occult cult. Do I? Do I want? It's dark. It's dark over here. Hold on. Let's see the map here. And it doesn't. Astrob is there. Now, if I go back in here, whoop, it says Temple of Scriptures Zap. Am I going in here? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Now, if I go in there, am I going to put myself up? Is this one of those things where as soon as you go in, it's like, now you're stuck? Jenry Holmes, Senior Temple of Scriptures. Do I need to talk to him? Let's talk to him. Hmm, what is it for? I'm very busy. Research waits for no man. I need some information. Um, kid, aren't you a little young to be watching over all these books all by yourself? Nothing, I'm leaving. So we're going to do this one. How can I help you? What does being an... Archaeosologist Archaeo involve? We archaeosologists are members of Oromai's Disciples. We're scholars, as you might know, and we're especially interested in uncovering relics from times gone by. Thanks for the info. What does... Okay, we already did that. So I want to go in here. Temple of Scriptures Hall. Is there more people to talk to, perhaps? Mayhaps? Okay, clearly I was supposed to go into the summer door. Let me guess. Spring, fall, winter. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, pretty. What does this do? Almanac's altar, temple of scripture. What does this do? A smooth, rich voice resounds. Pray to the Meridia of the day. Rumo success. What does that do? Pray at the Almanac's Almer altar 50 times. So do I just need to like... Oh, you can only do it once a day. Alright, kill 10 members of the occult cult. It does look like I need to go to Astro first. Doesn't seem like there's much going on here. At least that I can do at my current level anyway. So. Now, do I just like run? Because this map made it look like I can just walk down to Astra. And it's right there. Maybe I should do that. That way if I encounter anyone I can fight. Exit. Travel. To enter your haven bag, use the button marked enter slash leave your haven bag or the shortcut shift H. Once you're in your Haven bag, it will be visible to other players and can be visited. Use the locking console to restrict access rights. Okay, that's cool. Astrub City of Mercenaries. So you already have a debt to pay. Take this old Haven bag to Happy Pal so you can pay for the bed and roof you just destroyed during your reincarnation. Life is hard. Take the haven bag to Crappy Pal. Lovely. Where are you in this world? So. You're not Crappy Pal. Astro Forest. Tynella. 
that's a farmer. Where are you, Pappy Pal? Stasis source. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I just want to know which way I'm supposed to go. These are Relic Quest, Relic Quest, Fields Regal Express. Wait a second, what? What did I just do? Oh shit. That's me. No, it's not. Wait, <laughs> I'm confused. Let's start again. Oh no, it's taking me. Where would be the button for me? Am I this way? But see, it does show other people. This map is huge. Oh, Lord. I don't know if I'm ready for all this. I don't even remember which way I clicked to end up. Oh, there we go. I saw me. I saw me. Can I? Is this a zoom out? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so these are all the different worlds, I guess. What is this? So fuck yeah. Ragmar. Machna. Bonta. Asimov. So this is where I'm at. Is this the celestial place? No. No. Shudoku. <laughs> oh, these were the words for things are so cute. Wabbit Island. Okay. Kelba. Ooh, I want to go there. Temple of Scriptures. Sedita Kingdom. That's where my people is. Mineral Tower. So where's the little chill island I was just at? Re. Is it somewhere else? Well, clearly that's somewhere we go to much, much later in the game. I am here. If I... Yes, let's do this. We're going to get rid of all of this shit. I only want to see the characters. Katrina. Pappy Pal. Katrina. 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 Now, is there anywhere I can go to that will teleport me closer to Pappy Pal? There is. Astra Zen Center Zap. Okay, so can I get on this boat? Go back to where I was at. I am not trying to run around all over. Anybody who's watched me play Zelda Tears of the Kingdom knows that I, if I can teleport somewhere. And get there more quickly. I'm I'm going to. This is where we're going. Mm-hmm. Now when I go to the map, where's Pappy ass? I should be close to him. Alright, so I gotta go east. East. East, 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 east. How close am I now? Did I pass it? Nope, not yet. There you are. Found ya. Let's talk to you. Hello, little one. I'm the head of the Mercenaries Guild. What can I do for you? Mammy Pow asked me to bring you your Haven bag. I hear you have a little present for me. Let's give him the haven bag first. Ah, that old thing? I did tell her I didn't want it anymore. Take it if you want. It could be useful. I'll explain to you how to use it. 
By the way, I've never seen you before. Are you a new incarnate? Yes, I just crashed through your house's ceiling and onto your bed. Mm -hmm. You've got a rather thick skull. I wonder if... Well, anyway, you'd certainly make a great mercenary, but you still need a little training. Would you like me to teach you how to be stronger? What's in it for me? Well done, kid. I like that idea. Start by heading to the mercenary's training room. It's not far from here. One of my young recruits is already practicing there. He's called the Astrub Knight. He'll be able to show you the ropes of being a good mercenary. It's agreed then. Let's head to the mercenary's training room. Alright, so we got a new update on the quest. And prologue of the world of twelve. But what about the present? I hear you have a little present for me. Yes, that's what I need. Yes, Mammy found some old junk in the house that they want to take away from me. Here, we made a list. Have a look and tell me if anything catches your eye. I'm going to take this old wooden box. The display case still looks in a good state. I'll take it. So, what's the difference between these two items? I don't know. I feel like I should be Googling. I feel like I should Google. Hmm. Will it let me take both? A wooden box or a display case? What's in the wooden box? Decoration success. Okay. I guess. Does it, tell me, does it give me the option of getting the display case too? Because that might be that. Present for me. Found some old junk. We already read this. And you can take both. Nice tutorial. Display window success. Alright, and then the next thing I have to do is to the mercenaries training room, but I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna pause here. And we're just gonna save that for another day. I think we've done a pretty good bit so far. Hey, you're back. Hmm. Oh, somebody missed their friend. What's this? <laughs> Wild grass. Damage four. Heal seven. What was that? Hmm. I'm gonna put this back. If I put you here, will it like replace it? Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna do that. I like that better. You have more characteristics to do, which I'll look at the, into that later as well. And we're just going to quit. Do you really want a quick wahoo? Walk. Yes, I do. Oh, it's getting dark in here. I didn't even realize y'all can not really see me very well, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and turn this recording off now. Okay, bye.